All right. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is emphasize today that whenever you change your, you know, your position, you may go from a six and then go to the four, you're inviting all the time. Mm -hmm. It's always an invitation. So when you're in six, you're inviting in six. You're not defending yourself, you're not doing anything but inviting. If you go to four, you're inviting in four. If you went to four because you were looking for the blade, because it was incoming, and you missed the blade, now you're inviting in four. So all the attacks that would have happened if you invited in four, all of a sudden materialize. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that you were standing there materializing the attacks. Is that you got there, you didn't find the blade, obviously the blade is going somewhere else, and the only place it could go is in all those positions that you've invited. See? Now you're inviting here, now you've got three areas or four areas that can go there. Here they got three or four areas to go there. So every time you invite, you have those areas disposed, ready for attack. So let's let's get it. okay now. I'm guarding six. All right? You're in guarding six. Don't do anything. Get low now. I can attack you inside. See inside high line. I can attack you inside low line. You notice that this jacket doesn't go all the way down there. Yeah. But a fencing jacket does. Mm -hmm. That's part of the target area. All right. So the groin is part of the target area. I can go outside low line. Mm -hmm. See? So those are three, right? Right. And then, of course, I can go outside high line, real close to the blade, to tap you here. See? So there's four areas that I can go to while you're inviting six. Okay, so on guard. Now, inviting in four, there are four areas there, but they're different areas now. Well, some of them are the same. Okay, you add an area and subtract one. Right now, I can attack you low line outside. Right? I can attack you uh, low line inside. See? I can attack you high line inside. See? Those are, did I say four? One, two, three, four. No, I missed one. Okay. And high line, I mean, I'm sorry, high line outside. Right? So the four areas. Now go to eight. Uh huh. And eight, same thing applies. So I go high line outside. Right? High line inside. High line or low line inside and low line outside. Now I'm guarding seven. The invitation is in seven. Same thing, we have four areas. Let's go to, I'm going to go to high inside. I'm going to go to high outside. I'm going to go low outside and I'm going to go low inside okay now I'm performing a service and the service that I'm performing is that when I go to the low line I drop my guard you notice that? a good fencer, some good fencers will not drop the guard they'll drop the guard while they're going in there or they might hit the target while the guard is high. Now watch this, on guard. Uh, in four. You're in four, I can go, I can drop the guard and go inside low line, right? Or I can just drop the point and go inside low line. See? So, which, which do you think is harder to, to tell? Um, the second one. Exactly, dropping the point. Mm -hmm. Because the movement of the guard is very yes. evident. Yeah. So, anytime you move the guard laterally or up and down, it's very, it, 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 it stands out. Yeah, it's more obvious. But when you move the blade, you usually don't see the blade. But you can see the angle of the guard. Mm -hmm. And after practice, after a certain amount of practice, 
you'll see the angle of the guard drop, you'll know that the point is going down. You see the angle of the guard switch over this way, you know that the point is going to the outside line. But in the beginning, most fencers will do this, will drop the guard, move the guard behind the point. If they don't, they're going to have a lot of trouble because they can't direct the point. It's good to direct the point first and then eventually start practicing changing the point position without changing the guard position just to be just to have a little bit of stealth right right that takes practice all right what doesn't okay all right now on guard okay invite in seven good all right now invite in six. No. In six. 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 There, six. Oh, six. six. No, I okay. think it was a different. Okay, I got right. it. Invite in Sorry. seven. It's been a long day. Okay. Invite in six. Good. All right, now, on guard. I, I don't want you to back up. I just want you to carry my blade while I step in. Good. Okay, ready again. Good. Now keep your arm up and pull it back. Good. You just should be like that. There's a tendency to, to tendency to, to retract the, the arm when you do, when people do seven. No, it's good to in fact exaggerate and bring the arm out a little bit. It gives you much more strength. Okay, that's seven. Ah, that's a seven invitation. You see? A seven invitation. And I took the invitation and I started going somewhere else. Right? Right. Did you mean to invite there? No. No. See? So invitations don't have to be something that you invite because you mean to do it. An invitation can come up because you missed the period. Right. Or you missed an engagement. You see? So that's important to realize. So that's why you should respond quickly to after you invite and the blade isn't there, you should be ready to Go to the proper parity. Okay, so on guard. So let's do invite again. Here it goes. Good. Bring out the arm when you do that now. Bring up that. That's it, like that. Oh. Ah, good. Take your time. Because now here comes the ancient Chinese torture. All right. Do the right one. Good. Very good. Now, how many how many attempted parries did you do? Four. Hmm? One, one, right? Oh, I mean on that one. Yes, that on that one. You did one attempted okay. parry, became an invitation, right? Right. And then you did the second parry. Right. right? right. Okay. Not, nothing important anyway. Okay. Oh. Okay, and you were inviting in? Go back again. In? Seven. Right. What's what's your what's your parry now? Um lateral lateral eight. Eight. Okay. And then around. Okay again. Bring out your arm when you parry now. Good. Not too much, just, just to keep it relaxed. Very good. Good. Now, try to keep your elbow from moving. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So that's hard. So the idea is the elbow shouldn't really move very much. It just, just Shouldn't move. Right. Right? Not very much. Okay. Now invite me in eight. Good. Very good. Oh. Good. You have to think about it, right? Nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to score. I'm not going to win. You're practicing. Okay? 
Eight, invitation. Oh. Right. Okay. So you invited an eight. I mean, you went to seven. Nothing there. I'm, Nothing. It's not seven. I'm sorry. You went to four. Nothing there. And then you did a lateral six. six. Right? But there was another pair you could have done, which was a circular one. Right? right? So let me see you do that. Okay. So in other words, you're going to miss four, go to four, and you're going to do a circular four. Circular, aha, uh -huh, good. Okay, you miss four, do a circular four. Good. Ready? Miss four, do a circular four. Good. Okay, invite me in, in eight. Good. <clears throat> Good. Now when you do the circular four, I don't want your guard going over here. Mm -hmm. You're here already. Should be just the blade doing it. Okay. Just the blade. Because you bring your guard out here, strong possibility I'll hit you. Okay. So you just want to miss the blade and then do the circular. Not miss and do a Miss and do a circular. Okay, again, we'll do it again. Okay, we're going to invite in, uh, in, in eight. Good. I want to be here on the closed line. Close that line. Make sure. Oh, good. That's right. Good. Okay. Now go here. Good. Very good. Uh oh. Good. So you go over there, finish. Oh, semicircular. Okay, ready? Good. All right. Oh, good. Darn. So it should be one, two. Yeah. I'm not penetrating, so there's no reason for you to rush. Yeah. Don't rush unless you just want. There's no no need to rush. No need to. Okay. In eight. Aha, very good. You did two diagonals. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Good. Oh, what's Good. Good. So the important thing is not to go past the point you want to parry. Get to the point, detect that you missed, and then do the next parry. That's not a parry four. Oh. That blade has to make that diagonal move. Okay. Okay. Parry four. Go. Back to eight. Parry four. Back to eight. Parry four. Parry eight. Good. Parry four. Circle four. Okay. Notice you were able to do it because I mentioned it, you know, but the thing is you're waiting at, at the position of invitation when you picked your next when you pick your next parry. Mm -hmm. If you pass the point of invitation, you're going to just continue. You're going to do something else. So just go to that invitation. Go to that point of invitation. You didn't encounter, now you can go to another parry. Mm -hmm. 